What a deal. Mark Harper. Mr Speaker. Um, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister knows that I want to make sure we leave the European Union on the 29th of March. She knows... Regretfully, I couldn't support her deal two weeks ago because of the backstop, its impact on our relationship between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, uh, and trapping us potentially in a customs union. I am welcome the fact the House gave a clear majority yesterday to renegotiating the backstop. If she can deliver that, then I will vote for her deal, and I'm confident that we'll be a sustainable majority to get it through this House and the legislation. So can I ask my right hon. Friend, tell the European Union there is a majority in this House for that deal to get us out of the European Union on good terms, and I would ask my colleagues to give the Prime Minister space. They're not going to crumble tomorrow. We're going to have to hold our nerve, and we can be successful. Prime Minister. Can I say to my right hon. Friend, he is absolutely right about the importance of the vote that took place last night. Because that vote, agreeing the, uh, what it was necessary to change in the withdrawal agreement in order to achieve a majority across this House, winning that vote with a majority gave a very clear message to the European Union that actually a deal can, be, uh, can go through this House, but it has to be a deal that recognises the concerns that the House has expressed across the whole of this House in relation to the backstop. Uh, that is what I'm going to be going and, uh, and fighting for, the change that this House has been very clear it wants to see in the future. And then, as my right honourable friend says, I'm confident we can see a sustainable and substantial majority across this House for leaving with the deal.